sorry that I have to do this to you. Uh -huh. Like I, I, I love animals so much. Yo, what's up, beautiful people? It's your favorite village boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, right here in the northern part of um, Namibia. And um, currently, we are going to a village. And the village is almost how many kilometers now? You've been driving for how many kilometers? Like, I think 200 and something. 200 and something mm -hmm. from Opoa. No, I think it's more than from more than what was it's that? It's more than from a port to from here. From a port, it's close to, to four hundred and something. And something. And we are driving this far just to go and look for one person, one person that everyone has been tagging me that hey, whenever you come to Namibia, make sure you meet her because she's really represented our country. And you know, your wish has always been my command. Like, like I said, this channel it's all about africans telling their own stories you know how we do it the project is africa to the world uniting african youtubers to tell their own story so you telling me that there is a youtuber that lived that far for us to drive and get there means a lot all i want to say thank you to this lady right here i don't know if she's out country manager <laughs> <laughs> country manager since we got to namibia I mean, she has been holding our waist, man. And I don't know how to tank her. I don't even know how all these things happen. I, I just saw it happening. And on behalf of the whole team. We're here to say thank you very much to our country manager. Our country manager. So yeah, <laughs> come with us as we go meet the one and only. It's Ovin. It's from Ovin. It's what? <laughs> Ovin. Ovin. Hey, you want to kill me? Oh, oh my God. Jeez, please. Yeah, yeah. I just oh. praised you and then I. Ah! Jeez, okay. No, no. Alright, so yeah, yeah, that's how it is. That was just by the way. Anyways, let's, that's what YouTubers do. Exaggerating. <laughs> Nothing really happened, but yeah, it's okay. I'll see you when we get there. So after driving for so long, I felt like everyone is tired. So we had to stop somewhere just to rest. What do you want to do? Yeah, I, I, I'm not even the one. I'm not even the one driving, but I feel like my waist is paining me. Huh? Hey, what are you doing? Peace. Hey, your waist. You are stretching. stretching. Yeah, but you have to stretch your waist. See, <laughs> what is he doing? Captain manager. Do, do you know it's woven? Do you know her? Our designated driver. Do you know her? On YouTube. On YouTube, yes. yes. Have you met her in real life? Hey, this too, before we get out of this country, I know definitely something will happen. But I'm not going to say it on camera. You guys should pretend as if you didn't hear anything. Thank you. Somebody's either going to get a what? A Namibian passport or a Namibian That's so funny. Keep Namibia clean. Don't Keep Namibia clean. Ah, don't litter, man. Keep Namibia clean. All right, we go. All right, good. You just came for holidays. No, you live here. Okay, well, I grew up here. Okay, so this is home. I just go there to work. Then look, I go for work. Oh, wow, yes, because everyone is saying I have to meet you and I, I can't disappoint my people. Thank you so much. <laughs> like, I live so far. I actually thought you were not gonna make it. Really, so I really, really appreciate No, I'm here. Around. Don't worry, Thank I'm here. You so much. All right, so it seems you are not there yet. <laughs> so we still have to drive. How many kilometers more? I spoke to Kim and she's like, oh my god, I just don't get directions. I could not hear her voice. Like, I'm done getting directions. So, 
we have to drive out, guys. How many kilometers more? About six. Six kilometers. Okay. I mean, we, we've already, we're down with 900. <laughs> six is okay. So that's Angola? What? <laughs> Where's Angola? <laughs> Can we just go there? Can we go to the Angola border? That would be awesome. <laughs> that's the oh, minute. so. Oh. This is, you are, you are an Angolan soil. I'm in Angola right now. If anything happens here, you get arrested by the Angolan police and you get taken towards further into Angola. So the people here are Angolan or Namibians? <laughs> they are Namibians, but they are on Angola side. Now I understand your post saying that, like, when they kill you, you just... You just literally move over to this side <laughs> and they can't do anything to you. Whoa, they can't do anything to you no, because you are in Angola. Yeah. So now I have to move oh, to... Yeah, so I'm in Namibia now. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's good to see you. It's good. Thank you so much. Come on. <laughs> All right, so we're going to follow your car, yeah? Let's go. All right, so let's just get into the car and then continue the journey. Hurry up, you can't even see her. No, we can't even see her. She's just telling us that our driver is weak. I mean, are we here? <laughs> Are we here already? No! We're still in the first place! After 6 kilometers? Now how many meters more? About a kilometer. Wow! Yes! Okay. It's not that far, right? Yeah, it's not that far. It's not that far. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's not. Like it's just 961. It's not that far. <laughs> Yeah. Really? Finally, we here. We home, yeah, eh? Yes. Home away from home. Yes. That is the meaning when they say home away from home. So this is home for me. Venduk is home away from home. So this is home. Oh, this is home. Yes. I would love to spend time here. Well, How many days do we have? To my, I mean, you can stay here the whole week. <laughs> <laughs> whole week. Whole week. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. well, why is it that everyone is telling me I need to meet you? <laughs> I honestly. I honestly have no idea. You have no idea. But uh, probably because I create content, and my content is uh, really centered around my culture, my oh. tradition. Oh. You know. And which? Some, some which? Of it. What is your tradition? Which culture? Which tribe? I am. I'm a Kwanyama, mm. and my totem is Onko Jimbo Oh. Yeah. Nice. So this side we go by totems. <laughs> we hardly go with names. So okay. someone will call me by my totem. Amazing. Yes. Okay. Thank you for welcoming us to your home. Thank you very All much right. for coming so far. So by tradition, right? Uh -huh. We came in through that that door. Okay. But by tradition, so you can't go through that door because this is okay and do that. It's it's a, a part of the house that you first need to be sort of welcomed by tradition. So we have to go to the bomber first and then the owner of the house has to come welcome you. Okay. If they don't welcome you, bad spirit and I'm I'm lying. <laughs> tell people that I'm the village boy from Ghana <laughs> but hey this is the typical village man I feel like this village is more village than my village wow but it's so peaceful here man I've never felt so peaceful for a very long time even my phone alone disturbs me but here there's no internet there is no Wi-Fi no one is calling me. My whole phones are off. My laptop is off. I just so felt so good to be here, man. How I wish this is where I live, you know. It's, it's just a beautiful experience that I think each and every human being out there needs to experience. Um, I'm so glad that I came here, even though it's extremely far. I mean, 900 kilometers. Probably 961, or maybe 62. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's not awake yet, so I'm just gonna hang around because I really, really, there's one thing I really wanna do right now. I don't know if I should tell you. You know, you wake up at night, there's no bathroom. I, I really wanted to pee so badly. 
And then I came out, the whole place was dark. I was a little bit scared. I'm like, you know what? I have to go to the bush and just pee, man. So, but there's one thing I need to do, like, I wanna, sorry. <laughs> but I have to wait for her to come and then she's gonna tell me what to do because I can't hold it anymore. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Like, can you guys hear the chirping birds? Oh my God. Like, this is the best place for you to meditate, you know. This is the best place for you to reconnect with your soul. Ah, oh, I feel like I've been on social media for so long. Like, sometimes I really want to get away. Um, literally, I'm doing what I love, you know. But sometimes you need to also get in touch with the people that loves you for who you are. And it's so difficult to keep in touch with everyone. Sometimes I feel like I don't even have time for my own self. So when I get a chance to stay in a place like this, I feel so at peace. Like, I don't know what's going on with me, but it feels so peaceful in here, man. Like, just walking freely, not seeing anybody. I, I literally love nature. Let me, I'm talking too much? I think so. You know what? It's okay. It's okay. I'm just overreacting because I'm in the village. I, I just feel so happy to be here. I, I, I feel like I want to build a house here, maybe. I'll definitely build a house in the village where, I mean, something traditional, where I'll be able to, I mean, sleep with no one my, disturbing me. So, yeah. Um, let's, let me wait for a bit. Jeez, man. I can't hold it anymore, man. Uh. I hope she comes out as soon as possible. Yeah, so do me a favor, please. If you're watching this video, why are you not subscribed yet? Why have you not liked the video? Why are you not sharing the videos to your friends and family? Help the annoying village boy to reach a million. <laughs> you are going to get cold. I'm going to get cold? Yeah, it's way too early to be. <laughs> to be having watermelon. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good things, how are you? Great. How did you guys sleep? Awesome, man. I had a good night. Very peaceful night, though. Okay, that's good. Do you guys know that this is my first time of seeing a white watermelon? Like, when she was giving me, I was a little bit hesitant because I'm like, what is she eating this morning? And then I tasted it and then I found that it's watermelon. This is white watermelon. Have you guys seen it before? Leave it as a comment. Let me know, please. Uh, I'm so sorry, eh? I'm being ignorant today, man. Literally don't know anything that is going on. They are really enjoying it. Like, can I have more? Thank you. <laughs> Literally, you did it at home. At some point, we're all I, 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 I heard you talk. <laughs> Try it. How? You either burn or, are you ready? Burn? How? Burn with the water or it's cold? No, so I don't, I'm already water. feeling extremely cold right now. It's warm. So. Okay. Is it so, warm enough? Yeah, warm enough. It's okay. okay. So what you do is, you take this cup, Okay. then you pour and you wash on your face. Oh, okay. Ha. This is the same way like my village, okay. eh? Okay, perfect. Two village champions, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> this one is extreme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. So that is, that's really it. We don't have what, um, running shower, running tape, nothing. Oh, you know, there's one thing I really want to ask you, yeah. Uh -huh. I don't want anybody to hear. <laughs> but I'm just looking for a place to, you know, like, <laughs> I've been searching around just to find one. Is there anywhere I have to do it there's a, there's, before I start my day? There's plenty. There's plenty of space. So we have the forest. Okay. <laughs> we have the forest and then we have the mango field. You, <laughs> you get, the, for, the forest is endless. You just take a hole and then you... <laughs> Plenty of, no, I, no I, I need to express that. Let me just wash my face because I need it before I take anything in my body right now. Yeah. Okay. So you just, it's it far away from, the forest is far away. Oh, no, man. So this is the exit, one of the exits <laughs> to the house. One of the exits. <laughs> okay. One of the exits to the house. Okay. And I told you the forest is endless. You have many places, that's the forest. Okay. Ha. Huh. You can, there's another exit, you can go further into the forest, if you'd like. You see the cattle grazing that side. There are only cattles? No there's goats also. Ah, no, I'm just, no wild animals. <laughs> they are jackals, but they... <laughs> <laughs> they, 
they're, they're usually scared of humans. Oh, okay. Unless you run, then it will chase you. So the trick is to stand still. They're not snakes. And how am I gonna wipe my... <laughs> we don't have tissue paper. Jeez. So there's a lot of sticks. sticks. Oh, this Everywhere you use it. So stick. after that, it just... You know what? She can't go with me, so... Come, let's go alone. Yeah. I'll be back. <laughs> in a hole. Ka, ka, ka. I am going to in a hole. If you love to see water, my ass in the hole. Are you gonna follow me till I get there? My friend, I'm gonna just stay here and let me do my thing behind this grass, man. Hey! Oh, that's a, that's a car horn. Man, somebody come here. Fresh air <laughs> blowing everywhere. Oh my goodness, what a feeling. Back to nature. You know, you eat and then you're giving it back to nature to fertile the soil. These trees will grow with no fertilizers. I guess we all need to go, go back to nature, man. What a sweet feeling. Damn. Okay, that was a very beautiful experience, man. I mean, I'm helping the soil gain some nutrients so that these crops can grow very well, man. It's a good one. Yeah, you gotta try it out. Now, I'm asking so many questions because I want to do these videos with you. Have you ever used a hole in a hole before? Leave that as a comment. Let me know. I'm going in a hole. We've washed our faces, brushed our teeth. Yeah. Now for breakfast. I'm so hungry. Okay, there's plenty of porridge. So what would happen is we cook at night. Now when we cook at night, we make sure that we have some leftover porridge for the next day. So that we don't have to restart the whole process again. Okay. And it just tastes different. You know, it tastes almost like baked bread. I'm, I'm pushing it, but <laughs> yeah. So this is the leftover porridge. Then we just roast it. So I've From started, fire. yeah. We start the fire in the morning, we roast because there's no microwave. Can you see? And then we have this porridge with tea. So you turn it around. I'm not, I don't burn anymore, village champion. Eh? But just make sure that your coal is still having fire. Yeah. And then you turn it, the same with this one. You just take off the charcoal. Doesn't burn yours? Ah, no, it, it burns, don't, okay. It's like you don't spend so much time. Yeah. Oh! I'm ah! sorry. Let me. Do it's like I was holding the fire. Is it? Ah! <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, okay. So you okay, must be okay. careful. I will hold the wrong part. Yeah, probably. Can you see like that? Yeah. Then you turn it. Then it roasts on this side as well, and then you'll be ready to eat with the tea. So this is like a bread. Yes, this is like bread. Definitely is. It's good, man. Isn't already yet? It, oh, it's hot, eh? Can you see? Very. Yeah. So we we want to get it um, brown on both sides. Then it's nice and warm on both sides. See, I just removed this part. Yeah, this is, usually this is the part we eat. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. The, the burn part, yeah, it is burn, Be but. No, it's better than the inside. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's usually how the kids eat. Now you're eating like the kids. Mm. They take off the top part, and then they come and roast again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you take it off again. So um, Namibia, there's four regions. The 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 four big regions. Mm. Um, that that is where we do the Owambo people. Mm. That's where we roast uh, the bread. I mean the the porridge. There's also other tribes like the Damara, but that's towards south. Mm. It's about a thousand, two thousand kilometers from here. <laughs> I don't think they roast porridge. Okay. They probably do it different. Okay. Then the Ovaherero. I don't know if you've been to that side. Mm. The Himba. Do they do something similar? Yeah. I think I was there, but I, I didn't eat breakfast. I had lunch, but it was like meat. Oh, yes. Only water. Can you believe it? Just, no just seasoning. Kill, no seasoning, no pepper, nothing. They just put the meat on fire, boil, 
and then they started eating. How was that? Oh my goodness. I don't know if I'll ever try that. Again. What? Uh-huh. Breakfast is served. Breakfast is ready. These cups keep the tea very hot. Yeah. Please be careful. Milk. Would you like milk and tea? We have powder milk and fresh milk. Cow fresh milk. Uh -huh. I just took but it from the cup. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not bread, it's porridge. But it says it's bread. <laughs> now it looks like bread. Yeah. You don't like the middle part, then you drink with your tea. Then you bend. <laughs> I just bend my tongue. It's so hot. How does it taste? Very good. A perfect breakfast for a perfect morning. <laughs> this is a heavy breakfast. Mm. You need it in, in a in a November household? You need it because the next activity mm -hmm. is usually a lot of hard work. Oh. Like um like now mm -hmm. would have to go and harvest. It's okay. about eight. We'll stay in the in the field until three in the afternoon. Just harvesting. <laughs> so you need energy. Mm -hmm. You need a heavy breakfast. So now that we are done with breakfast, mm. uh we need to move on to the next which is so when you visit in an in an Oshuambo household, mm -hmm. when people are your visitors, you have to treat them in a specific way. You mm -hmm. don't just treat them like uh, everyday people, at least until they feel at home. Okay. So the idea is for you to feel at home. Mm -hmm. Three days from now, if you are still here, you would have acquainted yourself well and you will go do everything yourself. Okay. So when you come into our household, if you are one or two, then we slaughter chicken. But if you are more, then we have to go to the goat kraal and you have to choose a goat. Huh? You have to catch the <laughs> Myself. <laughs> choose a goat, no, the guys will help you. Mm. And then we have to slaughter the goat for you and cook for you. And you can feast and you feel at home. So it's very important that mm. we don't stab our guests okay. and anyone who lives in our Now house. I know this, so I guess every three days I'll be coming here. <laughs> <laughs> so the goat's <laughs> finished. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're only a visitor the first time. Oh! The second time you are considered part of us. Jeez. <laughs> I've changed my mind. <laughs> I have 800,000 subscribers, and I want to tell them that, yo, every day we need new visitors <laughs> visiting in here. But please, whenever you're coming, come with me. <laughs> mm. If the goats fish, then maybe we slaughter a cow. <laughs> Just for visitors. <laughs> usually when they say lot, then we slaughter a cow. But that means usually so much mm. we just keep it in the refrigerator you know maybe wow. give some to the neighbors but yeah so let's, let's get let's go do it that yeah. this white one this white one yes that one so you need to make sure you catch that one you need to make sure you catch that one so, yo i'm so sorry that i have to do this to you uh -huh. but I, I, I love animals so much uh -huh. That's the one you must catch. Yeah! <laughs> no! No! On the <laughs> wow. On the <laughs> on the next try. Uh, next before try. you hit, uh, I no, can't. No, no. I can't feel like that. Ah uh, no no no! Before you hit yourself, <laughs> the kids will help you catch it. <laughs> I feel bad for the goods. But we have to do what you must do. Hey, hey, chill, chill, chill. Chill, chill. chill. Just chill, I got you. Oh, wow. I have to take some pictures. What, you let it go? It's more chasing in the forest. So I have to. Make sure you don't let it go. So we get there. Mm -hmm. Now who is an expert here? We are now done. We are going to take the goat back into the house so that we slaughter and cook for you. Hmm. Yeah, for lunch. So what we are doing here now is we are going to harvest. Harvesting takes about two to three months. 
you are just in the field harvesting mango. Okay. But because we are a lot in our house, like this, it's done. There's no specific way, we just walk through here. You, you'll be fine. Yeah. How, how, you how, have to cut here. Okay. Then you cut like this. Like that. Hmm? For the first time harvesting the millet. <laughs> well done. The next Thank one? You. you cannot leave that one. Ah. Then you put in your basket. Put in my basket. Yeah. The basket is almost full. Okay, maybe you should take it to the storage first. The storage? Yeah, that there. The storage here? Yes, there the storage. So everything that we collect from the field, uh -huh. we have like a separate place that we just show you. Okay. And then we put everything in the mahango there. Wow. And then the next process starts. Where do I put my knife? You can bring your knife. Can somebody help me. Okay. You need to support. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Okay. okay. So you must be careful when you walk. Because, right. yeah, then we can go to the... Are you letting me do this because of the pop? <laughs> I'm glad you ran between the lines! Every day, like, this is how you collect the mango to the storage place. Basket by basket. Basket by basket. Yeah. Okay. So, let's go. This I also found. Okay. I'll show you now where we keep the rest of the mango. I'll show you now, and voila, we have oh, worked wow. a bit. Ah, <laughs> yes. So you guys have been working so we hard. have been working so Anybody hard. Pop and you work for it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so now you must push it a bit far, throw oh, your basket. Throw my basket. Yes. Far throw, away. Yes. Okay, how far can I go? Go. Okay, then you get your basket. Back. Like that. Wow. Now, because this is not ready yet, mm -hmm. we have to go and look for ground nuts to eat for lunch. Ground nuts? Yes. To eat granite for lunch. Yes. Okay. Let's go. Do you have granite here too? Yes. Wow. So there's a separate place. We'll show you now. Okay. Then we take that for lunch. Okay. Yeah. That's why we grow so many different things. This means you don't buy anything that you eat in here. No. We don't buy anything. Um, mostly what we buy is maybe like cooking oil. But even the sauces, the spinach, we just get from the field. Watermelon. A flower, everything we get Plenty. in the field. Oh, okay. <laughs> Even bigger ones. <laughs> Can you see? Wow. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's plenty of watermelon. Everywhere. So here, we just grow groundnuts. So some, more, some is already dry. The dry ones, we just keep until next season because we must sow. For them to grow again can you see so now we go down and we dig we go down and we dig here you start here on it the starts. sides on the side you must make sure you don't lose your nuts yeah then you put in your basket oh yeah can that's you so see? much fun <laughs> it is then you just keep oh, digging there is so much nuts yeah but what you can do is also this that is the easiest. But then, if you just do this, you might leave some in the ground. Can you see? So you have to make sure you have also cleared the ground. Like that. Like that. Like that. Can you see? Even some of these insects, they eat too. They stay and they eat. So it's very important to make sure that you have cleared everything. So you must search properly because if the elders come and they they come and search and they find <laughs> <laughs> you're in trouble I'm in trouble mm -hmm. i guess it's done now yeah you are ready now i'm good yeah okay so, so the process will continue yeah, until so the basket is filled this, one's, this one is enough for me is it yeah no i think the ladies must remain yeah and then the men must rest yeah we have to <laughs> thank you so much because the pep, I only eat small amounts. And it, I can't feel, I can't feel the food anymore. Please, can I get my lunch? Thank you. So, um, what we also do is because the work is so much and it's hard work, you also have to have some snacks. Now, snacks we don't go to the shop to buy. We grow sugar cane here. We grow different things, watermelon and all those. So now we are going to get some sugar cane. So let's go. I can tell you. Can you see this head is different? 
But this one, the moment you see the head, you know it's sweet. Let's go. This is another version of sugar cane. Sugar cane I've never seen before. So, surprisingly, my cousins have not started eating yet. Mm. I don't know what my man told them, but usually the small kids. Yeah. This is the first thing they go for. Even before they are ripe. This is the first thing they go for. Like that. Mm. It's juicy. And then you feel. This one? Yeah. The, yeah. Hey, Phil. <laughs> 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 <Ha! Broke> <laughs> 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 What's the bear? <laughs> Sorry. Ah. Okay. Okay. Never seen this kind of sugar cane before. Mm. Oh, you're... You cannot break anyway. Even it's in your half to struggle. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I'm really starting to doubt. Is is whatever really a village it's boy? A boy. I can't <laughs> I think I, I, I'm a city village boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I. <laughs> That's not how to eat it. No, like this. Cheese. You take on the head and then you peel. Yeah, you must peel. Everything. Can you see? It's supposed to look like this. Yeah, peel. <laughs> it's a lot of work. <laughs> Once again. <laughs> Take this Just like this. Yeah. No? It tastes... Just like the sugar cane that I know. Yeah. The one that they used to make sugar. Mm-hmm. This it. Mm. Yes, this one is a bit thin and it's a bit right. smaller. The one, the other one is thick. It's exactly the same. Mm-hmm. Oh. I'm gonna eat my porridge today. Uh -huh. oh. oh, what are you doing here? Huh? <laughs> I'm cooking for you. Well deserved. Yeah. You must cook what you wait for. Exactly. <laughs> I cook for myself, <laughs> but I, I'm not gonna give you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to understand that. <laughs> but I'm so glad. This is clearly what happens in our house. We mm -hmm. don't have gender roles, so everybody cooks. We take turns. The boys cook, the girls cook, the girls had goats, the boys had goats. Mm. And it was different in my upbringing with gender roles, but it's slowly transitioning and transforming in our house. Time to put in the basket with the man. <laughs> basket? Hey, I went in from the pot. Hi. I cooked and the woman served us and you know me always that anytime I get food I don't see anybody including you watching me oh you made it to this far thank you then make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and I'm gonna see you tomorrow don't forget that this is not the end this village boy okay so he has taken his I'm gonna bring you another episode tomorrow I am Maya peace out